Okay, so as you've read now, the perfect time to actually do the activation is early in the morning, between 1 and 4 a.m. I know that's your prime time of being awake, etc. So this is going to be pretty easy for you. Um, I would suggest that you set your alarm and start to <laughs> wake up earlier to do this practice. Um, always remember we take communion first. Remember from our blog the last week regarding DNA, etc. It is so important because we're continually converging our DNA with the DNA of Jesus. We are continually releasing those properties within our DNA to manifest our supernatural abilities. So before we start the activation, remember to get your environment in a place where you can engage, where it's quiet, and take communion first. All right, so go get your communion, and then partake of the communion. You can pause this, and then we go from here. So now that you've taken your communion, and you've done a bit of a meditation process, etc., where you are sitting, I want you to remember breathing is important. It's your body communicating with your brain and vice versa. So what I want you to do is that I want you to close your eyes and then breathe, seeing that all, all the way from the bottom of your body, you are breathing and drawing up. So what I want you to do is, as you breathe in, it is like you are picking up something heavy and you are contracting your organs and your muscles on the inside. So as you breathe in, you contract that as you are pushing the fluids up from your body of your spine. And then when you breathe out, you release it in to your pineal gland. Okay, so you breathe in from the bottom and then you hold it in for a moment and you breathe out. But I want you to see in your mind's eye that coming from the bottom and going up into your pineal gland. So your pineal gland is roughly in the middle of your head, of your brain there. It sits. So you breathe in and you see the fluids go up your spine and it's, you breathe out, you see it released into your pineal gland. You want to imagine, because remember with your imagination you create and what you see is your reality. So we continually do that. As we breathe in and breathe out, we also want to visualize our DNA is being recreated to facilitate the pineal gland. Remember you read that the pineal gland also plays a role in repairing DNA. So there's a correlation between pineal gland and your DNA. So the breathing exercise is, is very important. So as you continue to do that, I want you to see it released over your pineal gland. Remember those hairs on your pineal gland are the senses and they are busy being activated. So what I often do is that when I breathe in and I contract with those fluids into my pineal gland, so I envision it going up into my pineal gland, I breathe out and I release it over my pineal gland. I do that exercise a couple of times. Then I start to become aware of what my pineal gland is picking up. What is my pineal gland seeing? What is the awareness that it's starting to create? You need to do the exercise constantly. When you start to get tired because of the contraction, then just breathe normally. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out in a controlled manner, in a meditative manner. It is an exercise that you need to continually, continually, continually do. All right? Because your pineal gland is now being activated by pushing up the fluids 
and into your pineal gland. You are starting to activate those senses, the hair on top of your pineal gland, which is transmitters, which start to release what you are going to start sensing and being aware of. As you breathe in and out, start to focus on what your pineal gland is going to start to see and, and pick up. It is a new practice for you. It is something that you might not necessarily be used to. But that pineal gland, if it's activated properly, your supernatural experience, your awareness and your consciousness starts to open up and you experience the supernatural in a very real and physical way. But the pineal gland needs to be activated. It's a simple exercise, but you need to do that constantly the whole time. And your pineal gland will get used to the stimulation and after a while you will sit with a pineal gland that is open and that is a transmitter of the spirit realm in what you see and what you experience. Continue to practice that. Remember to visualize. And as you visualize, I always see my DNA coming into um, alignment in facilitating what my pineal gland is doing. Remember, your pineal gland is there to, ex to enhance your supernatural experience. There's a reason why the New Age movement focuses on the pineal gland. There's a reason why the Egyptians had Horus's eye. If you actually go and look at what the eye looks like and what a brain scan of the pineal gland looks like, there's a correlation. So even in ancient religions, they knew about this. And there's a reason why it has been placed there. It's to enhance the experience. Now, don't you think it's incredible there at the end of the blog where I mentioned the Hebrew word, pinyah, which means it's where um, um, Jacob had his experience with God and he called that place pinyah because he, became, because he came face to face with God. So in other words, it was a place where he had an experience with God. And that is exactly what your pineal gland facilitates. It's that experience with God. So though the exercise is a simple exercise, it is something you repeated, repeatedly have to do. And you'll start to experience your state of consciousness changing you'll start to see yourself becoming aware more and more. And that is your pineal gland that is starting to be activated. Um, often when, when I meditate, then I, I breathe in and I look and I see it go into my pineal gland. And from my pineal gland, I try to visualize into what the spirit realm is showing me, etc. It's not new age at all. It really isn't. You've got to ask yourself, did God create you or not? And if He did create you, which we know He did, then there's a supernatural purpose for that pineal gland that's in your brain. So I trust this exercise will help you to activate your life to become supernaturally natural and that your seeing eye will start to experience the supernatural realm in ways that you never have before. I trust this has blessed you, and if you would like to sow or trade into Throne Room Mystic Ministries, at the bottom is the PayPal link. I'd appreciate it. I love you, I love you, I love you.